Today on Happiest Camper, we show you how to make a cute cover for your KitchenAid stand mixer. If you're like me, you love your KitchenAid stand mixer. I was looking for a way to protect it and make it look a little nicer on my countertop. So, I made this KitchenAid stand mixer cover with this free sewing pattern. Let's get started. Start by cutting out the template pieces from the included pattern. Then, using the glue or tape, attach them together to make one piece. Lay the template on the back side of the fabric and trace around it while you hold it in place. You will need to trace two of these for both the outer fabric and the liner fabric. Cut out the pieces using scissors or a rotary cutter. Cut another piece of fabric that is 16 inches by 35 inches from both of the fabrics. On the long 35 inch side of the piece of fabric, clip or pin one of the template cut pieces to it. You want the two right sides to be touching. Using a 1 quarter inch seam allowance, sew the two pieces together using a back stitch at the start and finish. You may have to work the fabric slightly to keep it lined up as you round the turn. Repeat the last two steps to add the other piece to the other end. Just take your time and you'll be fine. Using the other fabric, repeat the last three steps so that you now will have what looks like two separate covers. One of them will be the liner. We are about halfway through this KitchenAid stand mixer cover sewing tutorial. If you are enjoying it so far, hit that like button. Trim off any extra fabric from around your stitching to lessen the bulk. Insert the liner cover into the top cover so that the right sides are touching. Clip or pin them together around the bottom edge. Using a 1 half inch seam allowance, sew the two together, but leave a 3 inch open space in the middle of one side. Be sure to use a back stitch at the start and finish. Through the opening you left, turn the whole thing right side out.
Then tuck the liner inside the outer fabric and make sure everything is flat and smooth. Clip or pin along the edge to keep them together. Then along that bottom edge, use a 1 quarter inch seam allowance and stitch all the way around, doing a back stitch at the start and finish. Make sure that opening has the raw edges turned inside as this will close up that opening. Now you have a cute and functional way to protect and store your KitchenAid stand mixer. Share with your friends who have KitchenAid stand mixers. If you love these sewing tutorials, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We post new sewing project tutorials every week on our site, happiestcamper.com. We have over 50 totally free sewing tutorials. You might find your next DIY gift idea for the holidays. Let us know what other projects or tutorials you would like to see on the channel.